Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind. In the last episode, we took on our very first case ever, saving our best friend Harry, sorry, Larry Butts, from murder charges, and we absolutely crushed it. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing on. We left off on quite the cliffhanger last time, so let's go ahead and get started with episode two, Turnabout Sisters. Hello, this is Maya. Hey Maya, it's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. Okay. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You've always liked toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Really. <laughs> Maya and Mia. You don't say. Okay, quite the... <laughs> quite the naming convention, parents. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. What for? I put some papers inside it instead. What kind of papers, Mia? Papers? Is that the evidence, then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner, something good. Like, burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. They're cute. I like them. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Okay. Why was it recorded? September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye & Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. Hmm. Who is this? How could you know? Ho ho, you are not co cogniferous, I don't know that word, of my background? Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Ho ho, my dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. No. What? What? No way. Who the heck are you, fucking purple hair? What? Red, white, blue. Hello? What? Is that what the cliffhanger's about? Does does Mia just die? <laughs> the, se the second case? What? Okay. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without- No. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out to dinner. What's that smell? Blood. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Okay, uh, examine. Uh, okay, okay. Now we're doing the, the Danganronpa things. Smell blood, and that can't be good. Yeah, let's just, you know, let's not examine anything. Let's just go into the office. Oh my god, okay. That smell, blood. Sis. Oh no. Oh no, man. Oh, that sucks. Fuck, okay. 
Chief? Chief? Chief! Are... Are you okay? Who are you? Did she faint? The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Damn, well this took a sharp fucking turn. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to f fuck. Okay, that sucks. I liked her a lot and I was excited to see where her character would go. <laughs> okay. Alright, game. I see you. Until finally she was cold. Damn. Quick. Just right into it, man. Chief. Oh, no. Okay. What do we got? Chief. It's hard seeing her like this. But if there are any clues here... She was struck on the head with a blunt object. I wonder... That's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> the same... The same way. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Oh, okay. We're collecting evidence. I don't think defense attorneys usually do that. Don't... Don't, like, detectives usually grab this stuff? And then, like, the attorneys? I guess maybe I don't know for sure, but... Hmm, there are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand laying broken in the back of the room. Okay. The broken remains of a glass light stand. Beyond broken... Broken, sorry. Beyond broken beyond all recognition. Nothing else that seems like a clue here, except for that piece of paper that says Maya on it. A piece of paper? It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Why does it... Why... A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Did the dude... <laughs> okay, okay, I, I think I see what's happening here. So, the dude tapped her phone call. And then... Because that, that's, that's the only way he could know about the, the deal. And it said the call was recorded. So he's trying to maybe frame the sister, which is fucked up. But that's, that's the only way... That's the only reason I could see her writing Maya's name. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from the from a department store dated yesterday. Receipt added to the court record. A, re a department store receipt with letters written in blood on the back. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. That's so sad. She looks <laughs> she looks so sad, man. Okay. Okay, so it shows me when I've seen everything that has to do with a thing, yeah, so there is new text here. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon again. Okay. It's painful to look, but I have to, for Mia's sake. Looks like she was hit in the head with a blunt weapon. She probably died instantly. Okay. So, the broken light stand. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. Okay. Anything else of real note? The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Okay. Um... There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater... <laughs> the Gatewater Hotel. Okay, Phoenix Wright. Okay. A nice, luxurious place. Okay, game. Fucking Gatewater Hotel. Get out of here. Alright, anything of note? I can slide. Oh, okay. I can go over to the other side of the room, too. Right. Well, the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Okay. I wish the cursor would move a little faster, but I suppose it's not really a big deal. A perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on stuff on the stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. That's that's a good yeah. That's a good way to do it. Computer. That's a very old computer. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. About all she used his PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Well, hey, you know what? If it works, it works, man. Uh, notebook. The Fay & Company ledger book. Everything is written in the chief's ultra-neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Uh, 
a phone. Right. I better call the police. Yeah, probably. Probably a good idea. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder why. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick. What, what, what was that? Someone screaming from the outside window. Oh, shit. Okay. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. No way. Am I going to be framed too? Fuck. The phone receiver is missing a few screws. I better not use it. Okay. Uh, anything else of note? There's this book on the ground. No. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else going on. I wonder if I can... There's also not really a way to speed up the cursor, it looks like. Okay. That's fine. I can get used to it. So if I examine the window... No. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's vamoose. That girl just now. Where'd she go? Oh. I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Oh, there she is. Okay. Yipes. Don't scare me like that. Um... Excuse me, but who are you? Oh. I'm a very empathetic person, and I just... The, her expressions are so well-drawn. I'm just like, fuck my heart, dude. <laughs> it's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. I, I wouldn't show her that, but uh, we, can, we can talk. What do we got? Uh, what happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? I came in, the room was dark, and sis, sis, so she was already dead. You and the chief. So, you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. That's so sad, man. <laughs> what, what a way to introduce a character. And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It, it was that clock. It was the thinker. Damn. Rough. Okay, let's, uh, let's present... Hey, uh, there we go. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. I wouldn't have shown her that. That's probably just going to fuck her up. Th th that's my name. But why? Why would she write my name? Oh, <laughs> she's so sad. Please just calm down. Why would sis write my name? Uh-oh, now I've done it. Yeah, Phoenix, dude, I wouldn't have... Oh, fuck. The police. Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Hello. Gumshoe? I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe? His name is Detective Detective Detective. That's fucking incredible, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Gumshoe, what an odd name, I'll say. <laughs> Those are all terms. <laughs> okay. I love I love the character naming in this game already. It's such it's such a funny thing. I didn't expect to laugh so much so soon. Uh how do I want to voice this guy? We received a report from a building across the way, see? We got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have... No, 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 no shot. Whoa! Excuse me! E this word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What?! The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. This, that's not for you to decide, my guy. K killer I'm not- Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am! Well, I- I don't like this guy. Okay, your name's funny, but you're kind of a- kind of a, a dope. What? 
Guilty and proven- guilty until proven innocent, I always say. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. Man. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Okay. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Just... <laughs> I, I've never... I've never empathized for a character so hard, so quick. It's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Yes. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I will. I would love to be her attorney, but it is it is up to you. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes. I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. Oh. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. No, no. Did I look at her like that? No, no. I never thought... It's okay. I understand. No, please. Please. Stop being so sad. Just cut it out. And I also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> huh, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. Hell yeah, I am, baby. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. <laughs> okay, that might be a bit much. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. Yes, that's correct. I will help you out, Maya. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. Fuck. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. What? That's what she said. What the hell, Mia? I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... Man, I, I love... I love the setup for this one. This one's like immediately just like into it. Every, like the, the first the tutorial case was like a big giant setup for this second case. And I think that's very clever. I didn't expect anything to go this hard this quick. I'm impressed. I know. Okay. Hello, Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes. What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say? Okay. Acolytes? Like people in religious training? Yeah, I get... Okay, what is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. You... Can you talk to your sister? Can you, like... No. You couldn't get her to, like, testify in court or anything. That would be fucking ridiculous. Okay. In training. A sp spirit medium? pretty sure that qualifies as strange. It kind of does, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I see. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker, the one Larry made. How could that have been an evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? What? Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. I thought you were going to channel your sister. Fuck. <laughs> okay, uh, you recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Okay. Um, spirit mediums. So you're an acolyte, a er, medium in trading. That's right. The Fey family, especially women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? 
So, Mia was into this stuff, too? Of course. She left the mountain to mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class, too. I... I had no idea. Is that why she was so good? Was she, like, talking to the dead? And just figuring out what happened, and then just boom? That be, I mean, that would be handy. Wait. What? So, you're a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium, with ESP and all that? Yes. In training. <laughs> well, can't you contact me as spirit? Exactly. Can you, like, contact her or, like, channel her or something? We can just ask her who killed her. I I'm sorry. I'm still in training. True. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Alright, uh, your cell phone. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remember that detective took my cell phone. I mean, yeah, of course. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sounds good. Sure, thanks. Okay, we got Maya's memo. A conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. That could be useful in court. Okay. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. Okay. And, well, I'm in trouble, yeah. God. I'd stop. Stop with this sad face, please. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Uh, yeah, of course. I can do that. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! Oh, her happy face is so sweet. I really, I really like this character a lot. Uh, I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? I... I see. Don't worry, leave it to- man. Man, dude, this is... this is rough. Thank you, the trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? That's a really quick trial. Yeah, tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. That usually doesn't go well. When will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. Okay, okay. So we're, we're gonna go ask this guy. He's gonna say hell no, and then we are going to represent her. Guaranteed. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Okay, let's go. Uh, is there more here? Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murder by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Was the smell of blood that strong? Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Okay. Alright, Maya. Um, I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, Grossberg Law Offices? That's quite the painting. There's like a cool, like, boar statue over there on the right. This is a nice office. This is like premium shit. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention, run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Okay, damn. Uh, this painting, what the hell is this? That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in- Me too, Phoenix! The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. That's quite nice pun. Nice pun. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell if someone here has got money to burn. Damn. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. So, uh, I'll let you guys know that I fucking love flavor text, so I'm probably going to exhaust about every option I see, even if it's kind of, like, boring. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I, I just, I, I really like getting everything that I can out of a world in games. Okay. Let's see. Big old mahogany desk. A solid mahogany. Hey, I called it, baby. Let's go. 
a solid mahogany desk. I swear, I swear I've never played this before. I just saw the color of the wood and I was like, mahogany. <laughs> the wood's been polished to a deep luster. Okay. Uh, we got books. No clues here. Damn. We got we got a lamp, though. Er, we got a lamp. Expensive-looking mahogany bookshelf. Oh, it's the bookshelves. Filled with expensive-looking books. Hmm. Funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Hmm. Okay. I think, I think that's probably it. All right. I guess we'll go back to the Fay and Co. law offices then. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there. Oh, it's Dick. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy. <laughs> How do you know Larry? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? I guess I forgot the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? You are just something else, man. He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective <laughs> Suede Shoes Gumtree. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Okay. Hey, hey, Dick, get over here. Yeah, Dick. Fucking Richard. Yes, sir. Be right there. Um, ahem. You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Whew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Okay, uh... What do you got to say? Mia Maya, Mia Maya. About Ms. Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now don't you go now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all well, thanks, I guess. You're a terrible detective. Uh time of death, 9 5 and 9 p.m. Single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Okay. Uh, Maya. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. W why do you say that? The city's put Prospector Edgeworth on the prosecution. Okay, I have I have seen Edgeworth before. I don't know anything about him, but, like, just from an outsider perspective, he looks like a tool. <laughs> but a lot of people seem to like him, so uh, I'm curious to meet this character. This is one of the characters I've been most interested in going into this. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Okay, hey, what's up? Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. His name is Miles. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. Yeah, of course. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. Okay. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Aw, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much d decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. That is impressive. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I see. It's one of those, like true justice types i get it okay Our absolute justice is the term i believe i never imagined i'd be facing him so soon okay very very cool hey uh dick gumshoe um what what do you think of this broken glass there was a broken glass at the crime scene right hmm? oh that seems like a glass stand fell n n next to the victim fell over the glass shards were pieced off the broken stand. Pieces of the broken stand. Okay. Uh, what do you think of my attorney badge? Hmm? What's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you. Okay. Okay, fine. Whatever. All right. Um, I guess... I don't know. Uh, the sky is blue and so am I. <laughs> There's that hotel right across the way. Yeah, yeah. The, the Gatewater Hotel. Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember it has this bizarre name that no one could ever remember. Cordeline Stricta, pal. Who was that? Is that Gumshoe? Does Gumshoe know? 
Mia's desk, perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Oh. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it one of these days. True. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all of these, unlike the famous lawyer. Okay, um, well. Uh, can I go? No, there's nothing going on here. Um. Hey, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? No, he was, he was gone. Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm, I'd better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Okay, uh, Maya, uh, hey, your family, what's up? What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother, oh man. Don't know, so she could still be alive? That's true, she could be. What's up with your mother? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident, okay? There was a man, and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Okay. So you live by yourself. Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. Uh, your mother's enemy. So who is this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? <laughs> Damn. This is an interesting world. This is very unlike, <laughs> unlike the real world. Uh, the police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought. The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with a medium had been all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. Okay. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughingstock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, um, what can we, what can we examine here? This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro of this guy. Is he even alive? He might be a statue. It's possible. Smile for the camera. Man, that's that's depressing. I'm sorry, Maya. I'll be back. Can we can we see the lawyer now? No? What the heck? Where do I go? Uh What do you think of this? I was wondering, did you see Maya Face cell phone? Oh that? I have that. Oh, it's got like the little strap too. That's a very that's a very Japanese thing. Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. <laughs> oh my god. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Uh, tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. <laughs> Evidently. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Er, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. Oh, uh, well... There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Okay. Well, thanks, Dick. Uh, Maya's cell phone holds a conversation between the chief and Maya. Okay. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You're all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Oh, her, right. I forgot about her. <laughs> uh, come to think of it, I had completely for 
Phoenix is just on my wavelength, man. Okay. The witness. Yeah, Miss a Ape. <laughs> April, May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? Is there a Julie August I should know about? So you've sent... Oh, whoops. You, so you've sent her home already, then. Aha! You're trying to... You're loyally tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. Well, he just did. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Okay. Uh, we got... Holds a conversation between the Chief and Maya. Let's go ahead and listen. Okay, um... Something I want you to hold on to for me. What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. The clock's not working. I had to take a, the clockwork out. Sorry, I put some papers inside of it instead. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, uh... See, see you later, dick. Uh, we, we can go to the Gatewater Hotel now, baby. Let's go. Ooh, fancy. There's something sticking out of that drawer there. I like that... That's a really weird rose bush. Why is there red coming off, like, the top and wrapping up? That's strange. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. This is, this is a very bouncy song. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Teehee. <laughs> Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. <laughs> What, what a design. And why, why is she doing the, the cat girl thing right now? Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. It's gonna be you, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, man, this game is so, so charming. Just immediately, everybody I meet has a very clear... I feel something about them immediately. I don't, I don't just like feel ambivalent to any of this. This is great. Ah, a still seen painting. Wait, should that should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. Okay. Uh, we got a rose bush. The flowers are fake as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. It's, th these are roses, Phoenix. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy. <laughs> God. You really shouldn't pry, pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Okay. Uh, hey, April. Uh, what you witnessed? You think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe. Incident? You sounded just like a lawyer in those movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Uh, this is... I want to leave. Um, better not encourage her. Er, you know that thing that occurred, um, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is this is a dead end. Miss May. Um, could you... Just exactly, who are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, no, no. Hey, I'm just doing my job here. Tee <laughs> I know you're cute when you... Yeah, sorry. You know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I blush this much. Um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. And you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh, boy. Okay, this room. I see there are two glasses. There are two glasses on the table. That's true. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm, er, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? <laughs> wow, she... She is a piece of work. 
Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, yeah. Um. Hey, uh, check out. Nah. I mean, I want I want some flavor text, but man, M Miss May makes me dismayed. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fay and Company Law Office's building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Okay. But we've already... We can't examine the, uh, the table. Oh, we can. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. True. What's up with this screwdriver? Hmm. What's inside, I wonder? <coughs> Maybe later. Yeah, we'll we'll come back we'll come back another time when she's not here. Okay. Uh bye. Uh back at the law offices? Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <coughs> if that wasn't the most over top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Oh, hello. Aha! So you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed while well, you've been out all day. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Marvin Grossberg? Mar Marvin? Uh, I can't, I can't. If there's a pun there, I don't see it. Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it? Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Fey. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yes. Maya Fey. Go on. Hmm? I have a strange reaction. Ah-cha-cha. Uh, I'm really quite busy here. So <laughs> okay. I can't go talking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Well, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Okay, you're in on this somehow. Er, ahem. Uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Okay... The music is really good. Just, it, it evokes atmosphere immediately. It's so effective. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? Uh, ahem. Well, you see, it's just, I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. <laughs> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However... I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Is it because... Is it because Edgeworth is on the case? Is that why you don't want to lose to him? Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Mm hmm Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. W what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case because of Edgeworth, probably. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Okay. Um, I guess... But I want, I want the flavor text, though. How did you know Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. Okay. That's quite a painting. Ah, oh, you noticed! It's my pride and joy. How could you not notice that thing? Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? I don't think it's very appropriate for the space. Uh, like, color-wise, it works fine, but it's pretty gaudy. <laughs> the color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. 
<laughs> I have no intention of parting with it, of course. Is this three million yen or three million dollars? That's very different. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. Okay. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. Okay. Alright, bye. Bye, dude. Alright, let's go tell Maya it's, we're on the case. I got you, girl. Hiya, Maya. Sorry, that was dumb. I'm, I apologize. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be- I don't- I don't want to crush this smile. I know that the second I say something, she's gonna go from this to all sad. I- no. I don't wanna- I don't wanna play this game anymore. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I- I really don't think you should use that guy. Oh. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help. Oh. I've been abandoned. No, you haven't. No. Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go? No. No. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you, whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well, I can't abandon you. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. It's true! I, I just want to give her a hug, man. I know. I've been there a long time ago. Aw. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Hell yeah, Phoenix. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Aw. Man. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you, of course. Ooh, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. She- Yes! Dude! I, I'm so invested. <laughs> I'm all in, baby. I gotta see where this goes. I gotta help her. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. Partners in crime- Well, not- Partners in disproving crime. Or proving crime, I guess, maybe. I don't know. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? Yeah, that that's the big question here. It was when I tried to look into that the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. True. Okay. Well, I think that is going to be everything for today's episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my Twitch, Twitter, or join my Discord, they are in the description. And I hope to see you all in the next one.